Hey guys, what's up? Gray here, and welcome back to my Python tutorial series. Today I will be showing you how to implement bullets into your Pi game. So first off, we'll want to add the mouse position to our update method in main. So let's start right here. I'm just going to say mouse position, or mouse pause, equals Pi game dot mouse dot get underscore position. That is a function, so it'll get the mouse position. And then we're going to need the angle between your mouse position and the car that we have drawn. So what we're going to want to do is figure out the angle, which is equal to a function we're going to actually create. So angle, angle between. And here we're going to take in player x plus player dot rect dot width divided by 2 plus cam underscore x comma player y plus player dot rect dot height divided by two plus cam underscore y comma mouse position. There we go. So the only thing we just don't have is the um, the angle, which we're going to create right now. So if I right click and create a new Python file, I'll call this um, lowercase math thing. In math things, we're going to want to import math. So from math import star, then we're going to want to define uh, the get angle between function. So define get angle between. And this is going to take in two points, point one and point two. And we'll have dx equals point two in the uh, first position minus point one in the first position. And then dy is equal to 0 0.2 in the first, second position minus 0 0.2, oh, sorry, 0 0.1 in the first position. And then angle equals a tan 2 dy and dx. And then we are going to return the angle. If I can spell return. And point. Sounds good. So we can save this. And then in main, we can do uh, from math thing. Oops. Import star. And now we don't have an error there. Perfect. Now we're going to want to create the bullet class. So um, let's just right click new. Python file and call it bullet. All right, in this bullet class, we're going to want to import system and pie game. As well, we're going to want to import math things, import star, because uh, math things has the math import, so we might as well just import math things and then just keep all the math stuff in here. So here we're going to want to do class bullet define in itself. We're also going to want to do the angle x and y. We'll say self dot x equals x self dot y equals y self dot speed equals five and I don't know why those weren't going down and self dot uh, angle equals angle. All right, and then we're going to want an update method here. So we'll say define update. So we're going to do that for us. Gotta make sure that's lowercase. Okay, define update self self dot x plus equals the cosine self dot angle 
times self dot speed self dot y plus equals sine self dot angle times self dot speed. There we go, and that'll be our update method. Then we're gonna also want render. And here we're gonna want self comma cam x cam y and the screen. And then we'll say pi game dot draw dot rectangle screen and then a tuple 255 255 255 comma self dot x plus cam underscore x comma self dot y plus cam underscore y comma 10, comma 10. Perfect, and that'll be our render. And that should be everything for the bullet class. So let's fix this, reformat the file, perfect. And save it. Let's go back to main and from bullet, import star. So now we've imported the bullet and we can also create an array of bullets. Say bullets. And we're also gonna want to render the bullets. So we'll say for bullet in bullet in bullets, the array of bullets. We'll say uh, bullet dot render cam x and Y and the screen. Perfect, and then there's the player. Uh, so yeah, sorry, I accidentally put this in the render, but just make sure this is in the update. So we're also gonna want to create the bullet. So if get press. and put a colon there we're going to say temp bullet is equal to bullet cast an angle player dot x plus player dot rect dot width divided by two comma player dot y plus player dot rect dot height divided by two and then next line we'll say bullets dot append temp bullet and then we're also going to want to update them so we'll say uh, for bullet in bullets bullet dot update there we go um, get that all together and this should be it let's try it out there we go so um, we're not getting the right position so let's figure out why it's not going to our mouse all right i'm going to print out the mouse position and we'll see what we get so it should be 1280 by 720 down there um so the mouse was it's getting the mouse position um let's check the angle and we should be all set now I'll hit play boom there we go we have working bullets i'll have the code in the description just go to my github in the next episode i'll do uh facing so whatever way you're facing when you drive the car will actually swap to 
different sprites. And then uh, soon I'll have to draw some for the different angles. But right now I only have left, right, up, and down. So stick around for that. As you can tell, I also rendered the bullet under the car. You can change this right here in the render function. Uh, so if you render the bullet first, it'll be under the car. If you render the player first, the bullet would actually come out the window, kind of. Uh, but it's up to you which one you like better. So thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.